hey, whenever we have a period of time in the middle of a season or even in a preparatory phase, maybe in the off season, and we have an extended period of time off, you know, like a bye week, an off week, whatever that is, we can approach it to make sure that when we do come back to training, when we come back to practice or competition, we're actually fresher, maybe stronger uh, than we were before we went into that bye week. Looking at a couple of different things here, let's break that into three different categories. First, let's create a plan. Okay, so when we think about creating a plan, physically write out our plan for the week. We know where when our classes are, when our training is, when our practices are for that week. So let's make a plan. When I make my plan, I want to intentionally also put the periods of time, the blocks of time in the calendar where my free time is. Okay, so now it's going to allow me to make the most out of the free time that I have. It could be in the evening. It could be in the morning. It could be on the weekend of this bye week. But I want to specifically identify when my period of time off is. Okay, for, for high performance athletes, too, we want to establish a fueling plan. We can do this by talking to our nutrition staff. We can talk, talk to our coaching staff. But most importantly, just understanding my body and having a routine that we've talked about in excess this fall. Okay, so when we think about a fueling plan, it should have to do with keeping meals consistent, a consistent hydration, carrying my water bottle. I should be able to have the same or similar body weight at the beginning of the following week that I did when I was coming into the bye week. Okay, so establish a fueling plan, keep body weight consistent. And then, you know, just, just like anything as a student athlete, I need to continue to prioritize school. But I'll, I'll even extend this to prioritize things that you may not have the opportunity to do uh, on a normal basis, okay? And we want to prioritize it now that we have time. So down the stretch run of the semester, we can allocate a lot more of our resources toward our sport, toward our preparation, and toward recovery and our health so we, our performance can continue to thrive. So prioritize school. Okay, second step, visit the garage. As we think about our bodies as high-performance engines, high-performance vehicles, so think about these high-performance vehicles when you put it in the garage. You get the air pressure fixed. You get your, your coolant topped off. You get the little things tightened. Same thing with us. So in the month of August, we talked about a performance routine. Now is the time that my vehicle is uh, in the garage and I have some extra time. Evaluate, reevaluate my routine from a pre-standpoint, a post-standpoint. And also, is it consistent? Is it sustainable over time? Okay, next area. Check in with uh, the nutrition department, okay? So do we have a good plan for fueling and for my body weight? And do I need to make any tweaks? Okay, it may be an opportunity where I can change my meals, change my meal timing, look at some things from, from that lens and visiting with a registered dietitian that works with your sport can be really, really powerful for that. And then finally, you know, it, it's not a bad idea to visit with all the mechanics that are in the garage. So think about getting extra treatment with athletic training, some supple line with strength conditioning, spend extra time devoted toward care, personal care, okay? Schedule a massage, again, soft tissue care, just working on taking care of yourself. And then visit with your equipment staff, especially if your sport is equipment extensive um, in that we have a lot of um, uh, different types of equipment, I've got helmets, maybe shoulder pads, maybe uh, bats, whatever it may be, spend time with your equipment staff and get everything fixed up. So at the beginning of the week, we're good to go. Okay. The final category, recharge. This is a wonderful opportunity for us to really engage in physical and mental recovery. Okay. Let's prioritize sleep. One, let's make sure that we sleep a little bit longer in the evenings. And they, that may um, um, make me have to go to bed a little bit earlier in the, in the evening, but try to extend the amount of time I sleep through the night and enjoy a power nap about 20 minutes or less in the middle of the day. That can really uh, help in my physical recovery. Okay, refill your tank. This is, could be anything that you enjoy. It could be something like calling and talking to your loved one, your family, people, your friends that you haven't spoken to in a while. Okay, it could be getting outside, doing things that you've not been able to do during the middle of the season or the off season in a while. But basically you need to find something to that you really enjoy to just fill your tank back up to recharge. Okay. And then finally, we're going to have a little bit of extra time off during a bye week. Okay. So we need to be able to make the right choices. We need to understand the implications of our choices and what they have on performance. Okay. So understanding that um, there's a time and a place to have 
um, uh, fun. It's, there's a time and a place to be able to go out and to do different things. There's also, we need to understand the flip side of that is that those choices that I make when I do go out and I engage in certain things, they're going to negatively um, or positively in certain areas with r- the right choices uh, impact my performance. Specifically, when we think about drugs, when we think about alcohol, they're going to have a net negative impact on our performance, meaning it's going to negatively impact our performance. Okay, So it doesn't matter when you do it um, or, or how much you do it, it's going to negatively impact your performance. And we need to understand that. Okay, We also need to understand that the more that I do it, maybe back-to-back days, it's going to have even more of a negative impact. So we need to be strategic in the choices that we make and when we make them to make sure that it's not going to impact my performance. The goal of a bye week, the goal of a week off, a recovery week, is to come back faster, stronger, and fresher uh, the following week. Think about all the things we can do from building a plan to visiting the garage and then to engaging in positive habits that's going to allow me to continue to grow, develop. When we come back following our bye week, we're going to be faster and we're going to be able to start faster uh, than we went into that bye week. 